Hey guys, Chef Brian Duffy here. Just want to let you know you're listening to Bring Your Torts Podcast with Jesse and Elaine. And God, I love these guys. Welcome to another episode of Bring Me a Torch. I'm Jesse. And I'm Elaine. And how's how's life? <laughs> life is very hectic. Do tell. Well, I'm in Austin now with my fiance. Ooh. Ooh, and my puppy, and Ooh. I still have my two jobs, and uh, we have no furniture, so we're sleeping on the floors. Because the dummies aren't giving it to you when they said they were going to give it to you? Well, they said five to ten business days, or sorry, ten to fifteen, it could be upwards of ten to fifteen business days. So that means three weeks, essentially, from two weeks from... And you were the one yelling at me about who I went with, and you are just sitting there with your... With your butt in your hand. We did buy, a, yeah, I mean, we don't even have a place to sit, but we did buy a couch today, so it'll be here on Friday. So it'll be, it'll be here in, in four business, business weeks? Yeah, we bought a uh, sectional, so I'm excited about that. And we do have internet and cable, but no food because we haven't gone to the grocery store. You do have a fridge there, don't you? Yeah, I mean, we're not. We go to the grocery store. I know, I know, we're just so lazy. Buy a damn loaf of bread or something. I know, bread and water. Get the bread so the how's water. everything with you, Jess? Well, I'm in Connecticut, as we mentioned last wait, time. And wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Stupid high high standard of living here. I am working in the insurance capital world of Hartford, and it's kicking my butt, although I think it's just, you know, you know, it's like when you move. I haven't got a decent night's sleep because I'm doing stuff on the weekends. I'm getting up earlier for work. I, living uh, with your I, parents. <laughs> living with my parents, yeah, but then I'm going to be living in my house, which I own in 24 days. Knock on wood. Nothing, nothing goes wrong there. No mold. Uh, no moldy ceilings. <laughs> no. I know somebody who had a place, and just when it was like the time that you could complain about things was up, they found mold in the walls, and they had to go live with their parents for like six weeks. Oh, what the hell that what? was. What? And, and they just had twins, too, after that happened. So, oh, what a mess. So, if there's any mold here, I'm throwing down. I don't know who I'm throwing down with, but I'm throwing down. Moldy podcast. That's what we're doing. The Moldy Podcast. Oh, moldy Bachelorette. Moldy Nick. Nick. It's the Moldy Podcast starring away. <laughs> so the Bachelorette uh, season finale happened last night, or two nights ago, I think it was. And no surprise there that Caitlin picked Sean. We all knew that because we Did we know that? Set. Because there were a she... lot of people saying that they thought it was going to be Nick. And this is what really annoys me is because I never for one second thought it was Nick. Listen back to our previous podcast. Because I they said Nick's going to be, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a Snapchat picture of them in bed. And what are you doing in bed, you know, months after the fact? I would have felt bad for Nick if he was getting married to her and she was in bed with Sean. Yeah, but that could have been just to throw people. Well, you know Sean lives in Connecticut, by the way. Does he really? Do I feel some stalking going on? I'll be right up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... I don't know if they're going to live, because they've been kind of living apart since this whole thing happened, because you can't, can't ruin it that way any more than she already did. So I, she, he lives in Windsor Locks, which is where the airport is. So I wonder, I wonder, wonder, wonder if they're going to be normal and move to Connecticut. Probably going to move back to L.A. because it's what all these idiots do. Oh, yeah. Don't they all move afterwards to, to L.A. to try to make it big? Caitlin, well, it's not Caitlin enough to find already, love. you got to find fame. But she already lived in, in L.A., though, right? Oh, she's from Vancouver, I think. Yeah, but that's Canada. Like, you're either, oh, Canada. You're either in the U.S. or you're in the Canada. <laughs> and if you're in the U.S., what in, do you In the Canada? In the <laughs> Canada. A? So I told you that Nick was going to get second place again, right? Because last season, or the couple of seasons ago in The Bachelorette, he got, didn't he get second or third place again? He did. I don't, know, I don't know if he came second, but he was the one. That's when he banged what's her name. They got mad. Second so Nick is basically, he, he's a specialist in banging the Bachelorette, but not getting the Bachelorette. Huh? Well, my, my, my thing is, is I'm about to go online right now and see if we have Nick for Bachelor. Remember Brit for Bachelorette? I, I can't support Nick for Bachelor. I hate that dude. Really? I, I, but, you know, I hate him, but I felt bad for him because he was basically like, what the hell? You banged me, and and now you're like kicking me to the. I mean, she banged him more than once, and she's kicking him to the curb, and she loved it. 
well, he, I loved how he did the whole, you know, I appreciate, I don't want to hear it. When she's like, oh, you know, you're a good guy. And, like, you know, if, when you hear, like, I'm not going to marry you, I'm going to marry this other dude, you don't want to hear anything else. Let me get the hell out of there. So I did feel bad for him a little bit. Yeah, he also had these crazy mannerisms and these facial expressions that he would kept making. So in your spare time when you're just completely bored, because I know you're really good at editing, can you do a montage of all of his, like, no sound or anything? Because I, I, don't, I don't think we need to hear him talk. But can you make, yeah. a, can you make a montage of all of his weird facial expressions? I find the time, you know, I am a busy, busy man. That days. would just be the funniest thing ever. Now, is it just from the show... In general, or just from like last night's episode, or from the entire season since he came on? What? What? I have to rewatch this crap all over again? I don't know. Um, I'm sure you can find a few of the crazy mm-hmm. faces. Just look at a conversation that he's having with somebody. Oh, yep, Nick for Bachelor dot com. It's two ninety nine on GoDaddy. <laughs> Oh, you, you can be all about that one. I'm like anybody but Nick for Bachelor dot com. I think it's a discounted too. It went from like fourteen ninety nine to two ninety nine for a year. So the season's over. What did you think of it? When, when that all I thought this was one of the best seasons of Bachelor Bachelorette or Bachelor in Paradise. You know, I didn't like last season. You didn't. I mean, oh, well, the Bachelor, not the Bachelor. They're, they're the same. Thing, yeah, I mean, I consider them the same. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, to be honest, it was the first season I actually watched, and yeah, I liked the Jimmy Kimmel thing, but for the most part, I could not care less. I could not have cared less um, about that, or who, who the hell was a Bachelor? I've already forgotten. Chris Souls. Yeah. Um, I mean, this this had its time. I mean, Nick, for as much as I couldn't stand him, at least he came in and made everybody go crazy, and I liked, <laughs> and I liked uh, what's his name, Ian, telling her that she was the worst person in the world and that he should be Bachelor. And I like that. It was okay, but if you could just take the whole season and, like, condense it so maybe a quarter of what I saw, I would really like it. I get bored with a lot of this, you know, loving Oh, really? Stuff. Yeah. I mean, I can see that. It kind of dragged on. But Nick coming in and shaking things up was so great because she just, like, banged him, and then she felt <laughs> guilty about it, and then she banged him again because she finally told Sean so she didn't feel as guilty. And Sean was just losing his mind the whole season. I thought it was well worth it. Yeah, but God help the guy who looks at Sean or looks at Britt. Sean was like, I can't take it. Stop looking at her. Ah, he's at so Brit. he's such like a sensitive he soul, which like I can Caitlin. respect. That her. Oh, what did I say, Britt? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Caitlin, Britt, same thing, whatever. Now, look at look at Caitlin. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to be stalking them and staring at her myself here in Connecticut now that I know they're local. I don't know. I think that um Sean actually really did care about Caitlin, or he wouldn't have been losing his mind as much as he was. I agree. He acted actually like a normal human being. Yeah, would, of course. Which is what shows that he likes her as opposed to, I mean, the normal human being. Say you really like a girl and you find out she bangs some guy you hate. Yeah. And drive you nuts. You're going to go a little kooky. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, but the important thing is that the Bachelor season never, never really ends. And starting this Sunday at 8 o'clock on ABC, we have Bachelor in Paradise. And I think that's going to be more up my, my ugh, I can't even talk, more up my alley. You're really losing it tonight, aren't you? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the first podcast in in the different geographical place. I mean, usually we're apart, but we're still kind of close. Yeah, I'm trying to. You're, I'm trying to. You're on a different time zone. I now. know, I know. It's what eight there? It's seven here. No, it's what? It's seven oh five here. Oh, is it? Sorry, I was looking at my clock. I haven't even changed it. Yep. So it's oh, six here and seven there. We got to get it together. <laughs> we got to make sure we bring it for our listeners. You don't even know what time it is where you are right now. I don't know. I'm thinking whatever. Okay, so Bachelor in Paradise. I'm excited. When does it start? <laughs> Sunday, 8 Sunday. p.m.? Yep, ABC. God, ABC had to be really pissed off with Caitlin throughout this whole process. Why? For multiple reasons. One, she sent out that, like you said, the uh, Instagram post with her and Sean in bed. Too, because she was going around sucking face and banging a lot of dudes, right? So just face. Who knows? They had to go on and defend her on multiple occasions. I mean, it really is just not your typical bachelorette. That's, I think, what made this season so successful. Was she more promiscuous than than most bachelorettes? Yes. Oh, yeah. Because people were making it go, oh, you're being misogynistic by saying a guy can sleep with lots of people and the girls can't. But I, I don't know what the average. Uh, contestant to banging ratio is in the show. Right, but also 
Chris did it. I mean, I think Chris set that precedent last year in The Bachelor. So she just sort of took after him and what he was doing. And so, but people called him a slut and all these names when he was doing it. You and I were, right? <laughs> well, you know, I, I call them like I see them. Oh, yeah. All right, get out of the bachelor. I'm glad it's gone for now. Let's get out of her. <laughs> uh, so long. Uh, Big Brother, it, it's been kind of weird to me. I haven't watched as much Big Brother as I really wanted to the last couple of weeks just because we've been losing our mind. But we saw <laughs> Audrey basically just lose her mind this last episode. Is everyone losing uh, their uh, mind? This last couple of episodes, right? What was that? Is everyone losing their mind? Oh, they were losing their mind over uh, – because Audrey, like – First of all, she disappears into the DR for like five hours. People think she's self-evicting. And then after that, she comes out like wrapped in a hoodie, in a blanket. She's always and she's like, a goes blanket. In, yeah, and she's like, like, Rrr, and she just goes into the have-not room and just sits there. And I don't even know how long she was there for. Finally, James they is like, made four or five food, hours. It. Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of wacky there. And everybody knew she was going to get kicked out. But, you know, Audrey... Take it like a woman and just be everybody else. You know, you, you may ask yeah. if you, you know, you're going to get You'll just shut down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, go out with some respect and some gusto and all that stuff. Yeah. And then they also gave her when, you know, obviously the votes were in, they gave her a penalty vote, didn't they? Well, yeah, because well, she, she ate food and she wasn't supposed to eat food. I think they should have given her a penalty vote for not showing up, but she said she was sick i thought that was what the penalty vote was no she broke she was a have not and she ate food oh she ate food. thanks a lot james <laughs> okay but and then of course the only person not to vote for her to be evicted is austin slash judas because he i don't know what he wanted to throw a hinky vote out there or something i feel like he's super bipolar by the way yeah, I mean, he, maybe he's just pretending that judas is his wrestling personality and he really just has a split personality i think you're right the guy's crazy. I mean, he's too busy going like, don't come between me and my twins. Snap, snap, snap. Okay. not awesome. be trusted on any level. I actually haven't been watching Big Brother After Dark because we just got cable today. Yeah. Um, have you been watch, following along? I mean, I've been following along the basic thing because originally after this week, they were going to make Austin the target because Austin blabbed to Jason and a few other people and confirmed that the twin twist was real. So I know Vanessa and a couple of others really wanted to get Austin the heck out of there. But some, somewhere along the line, they decided to go after Jason. And it looks like Jason is the target now, and he is on the block. Is he really? He, yeah, we'll see that tonight or tomorrow night, I guess. Yeah. That pisses me off so much. I thought they were going to go after Austin. If, if they were going to make a good season, they go after Austin. I really don't like how this whole thing is playing out. It's going to be this stupid group of people that I don't like who are going to be the people in charge. I mean... My boy Johnny Mac is just floating out there. He, he's he's doing what he can, but he has no real allegiances. Why don't the people who are yeah. not in a in a thing get together? It's the Beckys, the Megs. Well, they did create a new alliance called like Dark Moon or something, but it didn't last more than a week right now because Jason was in it and Becky was in it. There's too many people in it. These guys are so hopping and bopping around and freaking out. They can't keep just all they had to do is that original group. Stick together with the six of you. Who's and Jason on the block with? I think Becky. Becky? Because yeah, Becky and Clay were up. Because Becky and Clay were supposed to win. Oh, yeah. So they ended up yeah. losing. And then Clay wins uh, Power of Veto. And they put up Jason. So yeah. I would assume Jason is going to go home. But who the heck knows? Again, I haven't had a chance to watch or do any research on this. Because you know, I've got to work for a living now. I got skated by a little bit of my old job. This job, they want me to do stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that's so, a little bit disappointing about Big Brother. But who knows? You know, there's going to be something at some point where the which evicted house guest you want to come back in the game. I would really and hope they do something like that. But I just remember Jason saying that he got um, fired from his job from Stop and Shop because I think after you know so many days, you can't take any more leave without you know getting fired. So you know what? There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with honest work. But let me say this. I'm pretty sure he can find a job in another grocery store if he needs to. Yeah, and you know what? He's, like, so smart. You obviously can tell he's a lot smarter mm -hmm. than most of the people in the house. Is he smart or just sassy? <laughs> I think he's both, which is a good combination. But you can really see it when you hear him talk because he's, like, obviously one up on everybody because they don't really know what's going on with Big Brother. Everyone's like, oh, what are we talking? And he has to explain everything to everyone. 
But yet he's still going to get kicked out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't deal with his accent. It kind of gets on my nerves after a while. I love it. I love listening to him. He's hilarious. So, you know, between Big Brother and I Am Kid, it really just shows how much the uh, transgender population is, is coming out on TV. I Am Kate. You know, we have yeah. Audrey. Yeah, I Am Kate. And um, I, I downloaded it. I tried to watch. You know, my time was limited just because I was moving and only having a little, little time to watch as much TV as I can. And I made it through like 10 minutes, and I just stopped caring because in the first five minutes, you have Kendall calling. You have Kim Kardashian calling saying, oh, I spoke to the president of Twitter, and they think you're going to beat President Obama for the first to a million. And I'm like, oh, God, they have to get with their little plugs in there. They have to have the Kardashians in there. I feel like it's all manufactured. Wait. What did they say about Twitter and doing what? Well, when they were filming, at least, I guess Bruce slash, I think it was Caitlyn at the time, um, joined Twitter. And Kim Kardashian said that she spoke to the president of Twitter and that they thought that Caitlyn might beat the uh, meet President Obama to be the first to a million or, the, or a million in the least amount of time. Uh, I don't know if yes. it actually happened. I stopped watching. I'm like, I just don't care because I did. It's not like Bruce Jenner's everyday life. It's a manufactured life to go, go along with the story. Yeah, it seems, because yeah. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I didn't care about Bruce Jenner, and I don't care about Caitlyn Jenner. I yeah. care, but I do think the, I haven't seen the I Am Kate, but I think it's going to be the same stuff over and over. You know that Diane Sawyer special? Yeah. It's just going to be that. Well, because like suddenly he's hanging out, you see pictures of him hanging out with a lot of trans, transgender women. Is he like, really? friends now. Well, well, is he happens. really? Well, I mean, a picture came out a while ago, and, you know, it's all fun and games, but... I don't want to be suddenly like, oh, look at all my brand new friends that are going to be on my TV show. And maybe that's not the case. Maybe he's just getting to know the community, and that's cool. Oh, she is. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be saying he. Um, but maybe she's just getting to know the community. But if she is manufacturing these storylines for the show, I don't care. You know, it's, I understand <laughs> the big thing you're going through. I just don't care. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to wait and see if the show actually comes out with anything, you know, other than... Caitlyn Jenner walking around in mini skirts in New York. So, yeah, I, I think this could be a good show to kind of watch while fast forwarding and stopping when we see things. You know what I'm saying? Like just getting rid of the monotony of everyday life with Caitlyn Jenner and see like, what's worth talking about. Well, I think the whole reason why people tuned in to keeping up with the Kardashians was for Kim Kardashian and seeing the for her big fat ass. Yeah, and seeing the <laughs> behind the scenes footage of them going to photo shoots and all these you know, things that rich celebrities do. So if they don't have really any of the glamour and glitz in it, why do we want to watch it? Well, I mean, speaking of the Kardashians, by the way, I don't know if this is true. I read somewhere. Who's the, which one is going to be 18 soon? Is that Kylie? Yeah. Is that Kendall? Whichever one of them. Kylie. Is. Yeah. Apparently she is very excited to do her first nude photo shoot and you know, wants to get it all out there because she has perfect breasts or some BS like that. And I don't know if that's true kidding? or not. But, I mean, I wouldn't put it past them, would you? Hey, I'm 18, I'm legal. Let me get naked for everybody to see. Well, how much are you going to get paid to get naked? Because I feel like she has more money than anyone could ever give her to get paid for being naked, right? They're Kardashians. They always find a way to get money for being naked. I mean, it's just, well, that's I, their business. Well, their yeah, business but, isn't all the other things. It's being naked. But and why doesn't naked. she do it in a year or two when she starts falling into irrelevancy? Well, you know, it's it's like with JFK, RFK, and Ted Kennedy. You know, you, they are all famous in their own right. But John F. Kennedy is always the top dog. So Kim Kardashian is always going to be the top dog in this family. So, you know, you got to do what you can to kind of one-up them. Good point. You know? I don't know. And I guess when, you know, if you're young, if you got it flaunted, I, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I, mean I, I will look. I'm not going to lie. I just won't like them. I just like looking at them. <laughs> Apparently, she got uh, rumors ignite over her getting married to Tiga after Instagram pics show ring on her wedding finger. Ooh. It, it, it's right. It, it is. It's statutory, right? What he's been doing to her, right? I mean, he was definitely sleeping with her before she was 17 because she's a Kardashian. It's fine. I mean, yeah, I actually don't necessarily the care. But... What was that? I think 16 is the age of consent in a lot of states. No, it, it's, it's definitely 18, at least where they are, because. I was watching TMZ and they were talking about the whole, like every day when it was a thing, like, oh my God. So whatever, enough of these dumb Kardashians, enough of Caitlyn Jenner, enough of all this. I want to move on to perhaps the biggest surprise. Now, I don't know, we talked about this, I don't know if this is aired in in a preview before the uh, season four premieres on on August 2nd, but I ended up seeing uh, the first episode of season four of Party Down South with the OG cast. 
Ooh, and how was it? It was bananas. Now, I don't know. The majority of people haven't seen it, so I'm not going to get as in-depth as I was going to. But let me tell you this. It starts out with a whole bunch of people in relationships. We have Tiffany in a relationship. We have Hot Dog in a relationship. We have Lauren in a relationship. And, really? Uh, Tiffany, and, Tiffany, yep, and Tiffany does not like Hot Dog. Hot Dog. Does not like Hot Dog. <laughs> because apparently, according to Tiffany, Hot Dog is dating slash screwing um, one of daddy's friends what? who may or may not have who may or may not have flown his girlfriend out to live with her would live with him and then while that happened was also sleeping with with um with hot dog i don't know daddy seems to be divorced from the entire situation he doesn't give a crap one way or the other but i guess tiffany doesn't doesn't like the fact that hot dog may be a hoe and this all culminates in a, a good fight i'm trying to figure out a way to say it it's like a knockdown, drag out fight, and there is blood, and people are pissed. Are you kidding? You need to send this to me right now. I'm going to do it if I can when we get out of here. I think I still have it. I'll send it over to you. It is ridiculous. I mean, we've seen a lot of ridiculous crap on the show, and this, this takes a kick. Hey, are they still then, in that new house or in the house? They're, they're, the party in, down they're south? in St. Petersburg now. I think that was that, was that where this, the yeah. part two cast was yeah, at last time? Tampa. They're at that house. Yeah. Yeah, and they end up going There's to Miami at some point and, and just going nuts. And there's a, there's a Hurricane Martha sighting in Miami. And Daddy's dressed up like he's out of uh, Miami Vice. And uh, well, I mean, another big plot this year, it looks like. that. So Lauren, I don't know what's going on with her and her boyfriend, but Walt and a few other people are giving her a hard time in this episode. Lauren went as nuts as I've ever seen Lauren go. Because she's usually the most mild-mannered yeah. person on here. And she had the thing with, with, um, with Boudreaux and Maddie in the first season, but... She's relatively mild mannered, and she blows a gasket. She goes, she starts breaking things. It's crazy, so that's worth watching. And then another thing you're gonna see later this season. Apparently, Boudreaux is going to propose to some girl. This is so and, random. Every, yeah, and I don't so think he has a girlfriend drama. now. I don't think he has a girlfriend now, so I think he must meet on the show. I don't. I mean, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but I'm gonna send you this afterwards. You got it. This is it. crazy. It's, and this is not just hyperbole. This is really, really good. I was because a lot of times with these shows, they pump these out immediately after the other one ends, and it can be the same old, same old. This is just so good. I think I want to actually you to call me or not call me, text me, and let me know what you think about it after you watch it. I will. I definitely will. Maybe we can post it on uh, Twitter. Yeah, we can post our we can post our conversations about it. So that's really all I have. You know, I, there's more to talk about, but who has the time when we're moving? When we all get settled in, and I, I don't move to my place for a month, but you'll get your stuff pretty soon, and then we'll we'll have more of a schedule and figure out what we're doing and how to how to live our lives in a normal way. Yeah, right? we'll we'll try to do the podcast at least twice a week or do extended versions depending on, you know, what's coming out and what new shows are coming up and all that good stuff. I mean, September is just a few months away, and that's when a whole bunch of new shows are coming. I mean, heck, the end of August is when we're going to get Fear the Walking Dead, new Walking Dead TV show you can watch. Awesome. That leads into the regular Walking Dead. I mean, it's, time goes by way too quickly. I can't believe it's almost already fall. I mean, I think this is hot as hell outside in summer, but, I mean, fall is only like a... What's the temperature there, by the way? Because we get like 105 here. It was, I think, 91 today, feeling like 96. Oh, okay. According to my phone. Yeah, it's been so, really bad but, but here. But it's, it's warmer than normal. It's so funny up here. People are whining that it's hot, but they're going to be whining that it's freezing in just a few months. Oh, yeah. And I will have to go on the record and say I did watch Sex with Brody about 10, 15 minutes into it. I had to turn it off the first episode. That bad? It was so horrible. I don't recommend you watching it. <laughs> um, it's very uncomfortable. And yes. I, so Wait, we, is he trying uh, too hard? No, he's not trying. But there's a girl on there that was trying really hard. Um, and he has these guest hosts that no one's ever heard of. But I mean, just don't watch it. I have to say we were excited a couple months ago about watching it, but it's just it's just essentially a podcast about random sex topics, but you know, he Guess they what? film it as well. So it's just another gender I don't care about. Yep. So, all right. Well, uh, now that brings us to the end of this episode, the <laughs> the kind of the transitional episode I would say. So um just remember, go to our website, www.bringmeyourtorch.com, and you can find a lot of good things on there like you tell me. Well, <laughs> we can find us at facebook.com slash bring me your torch or twitter.com slash bring me your torque. You know, I do like our. No PH. No, no H. H. No you H. almost forgot to say it. Um, but you know what I do like about our website? 
you can what? see all of um, our tweets and kind of what we're talking about, who we're talking about, what's relevant. Who's talking about us? Oh, yeah, because they're always talking about us. And then and you can talking. also see what's coming up in the world of television, reality television, scripted television, and all the pop culture news that you can get your uh, little grubby paws on. Indeed. I mean, we haven't had time to talk about this because we've all been going crazy. We, we did get some more inside information yeah. on 90 Day Fiance. You want to do an exclusive yeah. for that? Yeah, the problem is going to be just finding the time because, you know, back in the, the olden days, I'd be like, let's just do it right now, but... I don't have the time to do it now. I'm too tired to do it now. So we'll just figure out a time we can do it. I mean, it's it's good. We have some time. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, and I we're we're kind of collecting the information as it's coming in because in the coming months there's going to be some things released. Mm-hmm. So we kind of want to just collect it and then give it to you all at once because it is a very evolving situation. With- we do have to put it out there before the reunion show, which I think is coming up relatively soon. So we got to figure out how to do that. All right, sounds good. Yeah. So, all right, that brings us to the end. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I almost got the most important, important part. I can't even talk today. Go to iTunes. Give us five stars. Leave us a great review. No one's done it in a while. And, I mean, I know we're just a little two-bit uh, podcast, but just to make me feel a little better, please give us a review. A good review. Not just a good review. <laughs> a good review. And uh, until you do that, just remember, you may have come here as a stranger, but you're leaving as a friend. We'll see you next time on Bring Me Your Torch. Bye.